However serious your money problems may be, would you trade them for the challenge of living on just one dollar a day? For millions, Tony DeCopel tells us, that's the reality every day. Think about this. One out of every nine people on Earth gets by on less than $2 a day. I want people to go and look at those images and immerse themselves as if that was their reality. It just begs the question, why? Pulitzer Prize-winning photojournalist Renee Beyer has spent years photographing a world we don't often want to see. Those photographs and the stories they capture were part of a recent exhibit, Living on a Dollar a Day. The most important thing for me was to preserve their dignity in these pictures. Was to How did you do that? To show how hardworking they were, to let their life unfold in front of me and to document that life. She does it by documenting not just their lack of food, clean water, and health care, but their smiles, too. If you were to take that child out of that scene, that's just like an everyday slice of life for a child, just running, smiling. Globally, the poorest of the poor total more than 800 million. One of the myths about poverty is that people who are poor are lazy. And I have to say that in all of my travels through, you know, four continents, that that couldn't be farther from the truth. To get to the truth, Bayer took time off from her newspaper job at the Sacramento Bee. You can say your name very good English. She traveled to 10 countries, taking 15,000 photographs. You can see the fire here. Even his eyelashes are singed from the fire, from working so close and digging, you know, with his bare hands in this toxic waste. In Ghana, children in flip-flops sift through the burning fragments of old computers, searching for metal they can sell. That's where Bayer met Fadi, age eight, stricken with malaria and crying as she worked. I said, what's the matter? Why is she so sad? And they said, that's because she wants to go home with you. Broke my heart. <laughs> the number of people living this way is actually dropping. It's down more than half since 1990, thanks to foreign aid and new investments in health and education. And yes, thanks to some of Bayer's photos, too. All of these children are now in school, helped by people inspired by her photographs. I want to show you the pic a picture of her. Wow. Body? Wait a minute, I need to get you next to the picture here. She's now at boarding school. And she has the most amazing smile. Of course, there are still millions out there who aren't as lucky, which Bayer hopes to change one photo at a time.